Hi guys, welcome to Naraisha Technologies. This is Subbaraj. In this video session, you guys are getting good knowledge on Django templates. In MVT design pattern, model view template. Template is nothing but user interface, completely front end environment. In that front end environment, we are implementing HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, AngularJS, Angular, EmberJS, etc. But at least basic level, I will start with HTML. In the last video session, guys, I shown to you already how to implement Django project with an app. In that app, I implemented some HTML code with the combination of Python code that is illegal. Python code must not be mixed with a HTML code. This is giving a lot of confuse in the project. To avoid this kind of ambiguity or confuse, we must separate HTML resources from Python coding. Let us, we will start how to separate all these things in front of you on the screen, clear notes existed. Django needs a convenient way to generate HTML dynamically as I said already. It reduces readability if Python code mixed with HTML code. Sure, in that time we are separating. How to do these settings practically? Come with me. Already I created a project and created app. So, in that one settings.py existed, it is single centralized location where we are configuring required files for a project as well as app. Now, go to that location and you can provide here templates. For example, I am giving print and once you are giving print and you are entering inside. So, now we are writing here simply underscore underscore file underscore underscore I am writing. So, if you write like that, what exactly it is going to display from the command prompt, we can try to check it. Right, I am going to cd web project then I am giving python settings.py. It is giving settings.py file name. So, settings.py file name. In this location, this resources contains the settings.py file. If I try to display base underscore dir, what will be displayed? Right, will execute the same. So, where my project currently existed, that absolute path you can observe. I drive Django projects, web project and clearly visible to you. This kind of path is illegal, means drive dependent path not suitable for live environment. It is a completely related to cloud computing environment or server based. That time drive providing is not recommended. To avoid that, we need to use a kind of templates configuration. Go back to your settings.py and provide templates os dot path dot join of base dir provide what folder name you are providing templates. Once the templates you provided, you need to configure that one in the templates. Template underscore dir comma. Now go back that and web app also configure app name and project name according to your client business requirements you can take. It is not mandatory every time whatever the names I am selecting. Yes, I am showing to you the flow of creation and execution. These are the names suitable for environment of Django. Now, once you configured that, come to your Django project. So, templates configuration completed. We need to create templates folder in the project environment. Right click and directory select templates. So, where I am creating on the top, not in this level, you need to create in the root level. In the templates level, you can create one folder for easy identification. General, I am creating my app. So, my app, my app inside I am writing one welcome.html file. So, welcome.html file. Once you are creating automatically required built-in Python source code displayed from Django framework. 
Now, this code we need to modify. Let me modify that title. I am giving Naresh IT Rajus classes. Now, come to body level and simply you can provide here whatever you are going to display. Just I am giving welcome to Django templates. Once you display like that, come back to first views.py. In the views, you are going to implement logic. For that purpose, you need to write def my template request. Then I am using written render request template address my app inside welcome.html that's it i am not using any context right now what is exactly render syntax render request template context context is the dictionary formatted data we need to so that i'll show you in the next session context is the optional attribute now return render request my app welcome.html so this you need to configure in the URLs. Let me show you render detailed definition. Combines a given template with a, with a given context dictionary and returns HTTP response object with that rendered text. So, syntax available, render, request, template and context. I wrote very clearly a context also, a dictionary of values. So, that in the next video we will observe. First, we will complete request and template come back to URLs. In the URLs level, we need configuration. Just go there. From and web app. Inside web app, I am having views. Inside views, what you are having? Path, path inside, I am giving my URL name, template. Do not use lowercase template because some kind of keywords must not use as user defined. Temp you can use, temp project you can use, temp pro you can use, template all lowercase do not use. It never allows you because it is a keyword type. I cannot say every time it will not allow you, but it is not suggestible. Template, comma, where existed views dot our function name, comma. So now backside already server readily existed. Come back to our root level and you can try to run the server. Yes, python manage.py or py manage.py, latest python interpreter we can call as py also. Now it is running successfully, go there and try to refresh, you are getting page not found because our page name is template, right click the forward slash and you can provide template and hit the return key is not found came. Now, its name is template. Correctly observe, we need to type the template. Just forward slash template and you can use hit the return key. Welcome to Django templates. Then you can come back to your template HTML file. You will try to modify or you want to add any updates here, you can do. For example, you want to develop some CSS. Style type is equal to, then I need selector h1 because h1 already used here. So, just I am writing color red, font family, the homa, font size, I want to write 30 pixels. So, you want to apply these styles on your h1 level, that is the reason I implemented h1 selector. Now, come back to your HTML page and refresh. So, the styles whatever you wrote applied here. Now, go back and again you can try to write H2 here for example. Thank you, Naresh IT. Then come on, refresh here. Now, again the same styles you required are new styles you required. Now, we will try to develop H2 selector, color green, font family, candera, font size 15 pixels, font size 15 pixels, come on refresh here, like this, 
in a simple way we can able to work with the templates thank you for watching my video sessions for more video sessions subscribe naresh it channel